philgrandiafieldsgang.com. For the next couple of minutes, I'm going to explain to you some of the dangers that are in the stock market. And one of the biggest dangers is the fake business news network are lying to you. So is it the Federal Reserve. So I'm going to go over these warnings, and I hope they help you. Now, one of the biggest lies that we've been getting, buy on a dip, buy on a dip. They keep telling you, buy on a dip. Really? Let's take see how that worked out for Enron. Take a look at this chart. If you see this chart of Enron, every time someone bought on the dip, they'd lose money, buy on a dip. They lost again, buy on a dip. And this was Kramer's big buy on the dip, and then it collapsed. Now, what's it represent? Well, if you look back when Enron was collapsing, the S&P looked, looked the same way. You never buy on dips. The reason is because you're in a downtrend. And when you're in a downtrend, the stock just gets worse. As opposed, when you buy on the dips on an uptrend, that's different. That's positive, buying on dips on an uptrend. Downtrend, dangerous. But this is what they're telling you to do right now. Why are they doing that? Well, they're doing that because they need to get out their best clients. So you take Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, J.P. Moore, all the big boys. They represent the unions. They represent the automotive unions. They represent the steel workers, the teachers' union. They represent all the unions. And just like what happened in 2008, just like what happened in the dot-com crash, they always got to get those clients out first. And they need your help. That's right. They need the retail customer's help to do that. They need you to be convinced to buy on the dips as the market's going down. they got to hold the stock market up long enough to get their big union clients out. And then once they're out, take a look at my chart again. Once they're out, look what happened here with Enron. All of a sudden they're out. They pulled the bid. And look how the Enron crashed. So they're back at this again. So never buy on a dip in a downtrend. If you want to buy on a dip in an uptrend, different story. But here's another story they're telling. Listen to this. This is nuts. Rates are higher in the United States because the United States economy has been much stronger than people expected. You hear what she said? Rates are higher. Ten-year Treasury yields are higher because the economy is much stronger. Now, it's not just this fake business news network person. Listen to this. Here's another one. We have got a strong economy. There's a basic reason why the 10-year is going up in yield. It's because of economic strength. We have what? got... Are you, are you nuts because of economic strength? No. Yields are going up because Biden government's been spending more money than they take in. And when you spend more money than you take in, that's inflation. Also creates a deficit. And when you have a deficit, it must be paid. And what Powell has to do is print money to pay down the deficit. But printing that money creates new inflation. So he has to raise rates again to drive down the new inflation, which drives down the dollar, which drives down the market. So they're trying to tell us right now that the economy is doing better because yields are higher. Wait a minute. Let me think about this crap. Are you kidding me? So what they're saying is when we were getting a rate at 2.6% 30-year fixed rate mortgage, and the reason we got a 30-year fixed rate mortgage at 2.3, 2.7%, because the yield on the 10 years is 1.6. So now a yield is no longer 1.6, it's 4.4. And now your mortgage is no more 2.6 or 2.3 for 30-year fixed. It's heading towards 8%. But they're saying... Oh, but it's a stronger economy now because you are paying more for your mortgage. So it's a stronger economy. It wasn't strong. <laughs> it's just, I'm so stupid. I, can't even, I don't even know what I'm talking about. 
They're trying to take parking space in our head that when you are paying 2.6, 2.8% for a 30-year fixed-rate mortgage, the economy was weak. But now that you're paying 7%, pushing 8 the economy's strong. Here's some more stupidity. They're also telling you that the three-month treasury, that's the real important one, that's the one, that's the rate that the Fed sets and then decides how much they're going to charge the banks. Now, remember, banks borrow money from the Fed, and then the banks loan to you. Well, what they're trying to tell everybody now is when the Fed was loaning money to your local bank at 1%, so your local business could have a line of credit to buy new inventory so you'd go in the store and buy something, that was weak. Oh, but now, but now... It's okay because now it's at that three month treasury yields at five percent, not one tenth of one percent. So it's better now. The economy's stronger because now to go get a loan, a small businessman, instead of paying two or three percent, you're paying eight, nine percent. Is this amazing? It's unbelievable. So that's what they're trying to tell us that the that the higher the yields go, they want you to believe the better the economy is, stronger. We don't want those old yields when we could get a mortgage at 2.6%. No, we want to pay 7% for a mortgage. Yeah, much stronger. This is what they're doing. This is the stupidity that's going on. Inflation. They're lying about inflation as well. Get this. Remember, and I've been in this business for over 50 years. And in the 70s and 80s, we got a true rate of inflation, what inflation really was. In those days, you would get an inflation rate based on if you had meat that you could buy for $10 to $15, then what they would do is they would take the, they would average the higher end. A car, from 36,000 to 56,000, they would average the higher end. Clothing, same thing, average the higher end. So the rate would be 10%. What they're doing today with those same items are substituting and taking the lower end so they can convince you inflation's lower. The inflation today is 10%. It's not 3.2%, it's 10%. But why are they doing that? And why did they change it? So they could screw everybody on Social Security, screw people who are retired in the military, screw the retired workers, government workers. Why? Because they wanted more money. The senators, the congressmen wanted more money to take home to build ice skating rinks and bowling ball lanes and anything else so they get reelected. So, again, another lie. And GDP is another big lie. GDP, you know what they do with GDP? When inventory builds, it's because retail customers have no customers. Business is terrible. So how they count the GDP or how our economy is growing, let's say we got a million dollars worth of inventory and our GDP is 1%. Next month, we got $3 million worth of inventory because things are terrible. The economy is terrible. But they go, oh, but they count that inventory as good, and now we go from 1% GDP. They go, look at this. We're growing. We're at 4%. No, the only thing that's growing is the inventory, and we can't sell the crop because people aren't making enough money <laughs> to buy it. So what do you do? The only thing that's left to do is get rid of all that noise and follow your charts. Let me show you what I mean. This is the chart, again, and this is what I do with all my gang members. I always tell them, like here's a very important chart. Here's the cues. See how it's been snapping back and they're telling everybody, oh, this is good, they're all snapping back. Yeah, all the tourists are going in now buying the cues. No, 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 it turned red. It's telling us it's gonna go a lot lower, okay? The one thing I depend on is my color-coded chart because my charts follow the money, not the crap. 
and see when it turns red, I know I got a high probability the Qs are going to go much lower. Watch this, the banks. KRE, look at this. These are small banks, the regional banks, ready to turn red. I'll be ready to get out and short them. Take a look at, take a look at uh, the um, spiders. Look at this, all getting ready, just turned red, all getting ready to collapse. That's what I follow. I follow the money. I follow the money, because that's where the truth lies. Everything else they're giving us, this all started in 2008 with QE, and they haven't stopped. They're addicted to lying. Well, this is how you can make money in the market, by shutting them out, follow the money. We'll be more than happy to show you how to do it on our charts. PhilsGang.com, check it out.